Greetings, my collaborative comrades. I am your fangirl. Are you new to the whole cosplay environment? Because if so, you don't even know what you're missing. Have you at least had any interest in exploring this world of ours? Well, be curious no more. Cosplay is an amazing open world where people have the freedom to not only express their favorite franchise and the things that they love, but just to show off their creativity. And on top of all that, it's fun as hell. There are a lot of challenges along the way of being a cosplayer, but that's what I'm here to talk to you about. If you are brand new to the cosplay environment, or if you just want to learn how to improve yourself as a cosplayer as you go along, then these are the steps for you. Whether you're a level one paper bag peasant or a level 99 warbler wizard, these steps will help you get there. Number one, know your character. Many take cosplay as a series of acting. You may enjoy the outfit because you want to feel badass or elegant or even just downright funny, but it's also important to know exactly who you're portraying. You want to avoid confusion on yourself and other fans of the franchise, so be sure to learn to get to know the character and who that person is before you decide to dress like them. Hi everybody! I am Sweet Chief from Gravitation, and I am here to rock your world! You know Suichi's a guy, right? Huh? A gay guy? Close enough. Hi! What's up, boys? Racist. Number two. Time is precious. If you want a good, well-finished cosplay, you need to plan ahead, especially if there's a due date involved. Pick out your costume, find the materials you need and what details need to be done, and add a little extra time for your props. Or a lot of time. Really depends. Some cosplayers only need a few days because they just want to dress up and have fun with it, and that's perfectly fine, but if you're picky with accuracy and you want all the details in it, you're gonna need a lot of time to do it. And I thought picking out a prom dress was a hassle. <laughs> Oh, and timing is also very important if you have somebody making the costume for you. Please be sure to give them enough money. Hey! I need a costume to look exactly like this guy. I need it by tomorrow. Do it! <laughs> Number three, know your budget. Cause it's gonna take money! A whole lot of spending money! No, seriously, it does. Some costumes out there will depend on how much money you're willing to spend as well as time. If you Google it, there is a long history of cosplayers who have spent anywhere from $20 to over $1,000. Insane, but yeah. If there's someone you want to cosplay but you're not sure if it's going to cost you next month's rent, feel free to Google it or find somebody who has cosplayed the same person and get advice from them. Just don't do Edward Elric. He may literally cost you an arm and a leg. Number four, beauty is in the eye of the whatever. Some of you out there like to look at these amazing photos on the internet that practically come to life and the accuracy is just downright perfect to a T or a P or whatever you want to call it. But don't let it give you that case of beauty mag syndrome. What I mean is don't keep comparing yourself to other cosplayers. Everybody has a different way of doing things. A certain vision of a character shouldn't have to limit you as to what you want to do. Do you have darker skin but want to portray a Sailor Scout? That's fine. Is your weight or body shape nowhere close to that fighting armor? Who cares? You want to dress as the opposite sex? People are doing that on a daily basis. What's stopping you now? Number five. There's no such thing as a dumb idea. Do you want to focus on exact accuracy or do you want to try to work with it and get creative with your own self a little bit? Make it a theme, combine ideas, have accessories, make it shiny. There really are no rules to this. You mean like the ones you're making now? Guidelines, there's a difference. Number six, challenge yourself. I have been cosplaying for many, many years now and the whole thing started when I learned to just do basic stitching and hemming. But as years went by, I would challenge myself by picking out these new cosplays that feature things that involved me learning a new task. You know, wig styling, new use of materials, and once in a while you'll come across things that you will never want to come across again. I've had just about enough of you! Ha! You're in friendly plastic! Die! 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 Okay, never okay, again. that's Never enough. again! Never again! Never hurt you anymore! Never again! Damn friendly plastic! Number seven. 
Say it. Don't troll it. Okay, so far there are guidelines that encourage you not to worry about cosplay bullying, but that doesn't mean that it doesn't exist. Yes, we all have freedom of speech, we have the right to say what we want, and we're gonna get criticized for things no matter what. Just be civil about it. It's not that hard. Number eight. The more the merrier. You find cosplay enjoyable like I do? Well, obviously you're not alone. Conventions are one of the places where I've met some of my closest friends, so why not find some people to bond with and form your own group? Number nine, number nine, number nine. Location, location, location. Remember when I said earlier about learning about your character? Well, the same thing will go with photo shoots. Seeing close to accurate photo shots of your cosplay in certain environments is really a good feedback. There is a sense of pride in all of us when we have good, accurate photo shots of our cosplay. You don't necessarily have to be on real Titan territory, but nothing that a little Photoshop couldn't fix. Get your cosplay to come alive! Oh, sorry. Are you dead? Number 10 is to have fun with it. I don't think I really need to explain this one. That's the reason why all of us do it, because we have fun doing it. And there's no need to be here if you're not having fun. Well, I hope this video was of help to you. Thank you guys so much for watching. And if you want to see more ahead of time, feel free to click the subscribe button or the like button or whichever buttons are down there that will get us connected. Let's be friends. See you next time.